Hi guys, my name is Christian, I'm with ESU, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick video on how to update your cab control ICU. So, let's get right into it. First thing you want to do is come to our website here, and let's go into the downloads page, and into the firmware and software. Here you can find all the firmware and software for updates for all of our updatable pro products. For now we're going to go into the cab control and here we find the firmware update for cab control ICU box version 4.2.3 so let's go ahead and hit download here's the license agreement you can scroll or read through that and then we hit download again and it's going to download a compressed folder and we can go ahead and press OK this might look a little different on your computer depending on what software you have hit OK and it's going to download up here take a couple seconds once it's done it's going to open the compressed folder so the next thing we have to do is extract the files so again this might look a little different on your computer uh, right now hit extract and for now I'm just going to extract them onto my desktop just to make things quick and easy for the sake of the video go ahead and hit extract and there they are so we can close this up and go back to the desktop here Next thing we want to do is we want to take our an empty USB stick and go ahead and plug that in. That'll open it up here. And first thing we have to do is format the USB stick so it's compatible for the cab control to update. So go up to manage and format. And the FAT32 is already the default for this. So I'm good, so I can go ahead and hit close. And the next thing you want to do, within the USB stick, you want to create a folder. And you want to name it Cab Control Update. Be aware that they're of the uh, capitals and lowercase. This is also on page 25 of your Cab Control Manual. Next thing you want to do is you want to take that BCI file that came from the compressed folder from the website and put it into that folder. It'll take a couple of seconds to copy into there. And now your USB stick is ready to go. So the first thing you notice is that it's not plugged in yet. We need to power it on in update mode. To do this, first we must take off the front cover. If you look closely, there's a little lip inside, this, inside the front cover there and either a fingernail or a small flathead screwdriver can fit in there to pry it off. As you can see, there's a few buttons in there. We're going to use the update or rescue button all the way on the right. And basically you want to hold, press and hold that in as we plug it in. Now, you want to, as you're pressing and holding it in, there's a little LED light. It'll blink red and it'll turn on and stay on if it has turned on successfully in update mode. So let's do that now. I'm pressing and holding and I plug it in in the back and as you can see since that light is turned on I can now pu pull my finger off next we're going to take the USB stick and plug it straight into the back of the cap control as we can see on the USB stick since it has a light it's communicating with the cap control the cap control automatically recognizes the update file and the way you can tell if it's updating is if the light is starts blinking. That means it's working. This will take only a minute or two, not too long, and you wait until that's finished. On occasion, due to technical reasons, it can be possible that the cab control ICU does not identify the USB stick. In this case, please try to use another USB stick from another company. This is rare, but like all computer hardware, it's possible. Once it's done updating, it's going to, the red light's going to turn off and it's going to restart itself. And there it goes. Your cab control is now successfully updated. Along with updating your cab control, don't forget to check if your mobile control to throttle needs updated as well. You can find the update file and the video on how to update it on our website. Thanks for watching.